I'm Teacher Nev, and welcome back to our general math class. One of the properties of an exponential function is that the domain is the set of real numbers. On the other hand, the range varies. This variation is what we will tackle in this lesson. Few notable changes in y values of an exponential function are the asymptote and intercepts, the x-intercept and the y-intercept. I suggest, as I know it is beneficial to you, that you try to understand it in the graphs of different exponential functions in the previous lessons, representations of exponential functions, and domain and range of exponential functions. In this lesson, however, you will learn solving for the x and y intercepts algebraically or with mathematical solutions. From the equation or function as well, we will determine the asymptote. To begin, recall that an x-intercept is the value that the graph touches in the x-axis, and it is also called zero. A y-intercept, on the other hand, is the y-value that the graph touches in the y-axis. Lastly, an asymptote is a line which the graph gets closer and closer to but never meets, nor crosses, nor touches. Example 1. Solve for the zero of f of x equals 2 to the 5x minus 1 power minus 8 if there is any. This is the given function. We are asked to solve for the zero or the x-intercept. So the first step is to make this f of x or y equal to zero. And then the corresponding x value will be the zero of the function. So let f of x be equal to zero. And we have 0 equals 2 to the 5x minus 1 minus 8. And then by using APE, we add positive 8 to both sides. And we'll get 8 equals 2 to the 5x minus 1. Take note that the variable x is or acts as an exponent in the equation. And for us to solve that x, for the value of that x, then we need to express 8 in terms of this base 2. 8, as we know, is 2 cubed. So it may be expressed as 2 cubed equals 2 to the 5x minus 1. Since the bases are already both 2, then the equation tells us that the exponents are also equal. And we may equate them now. 3 equals 5x minus 1. Now to solve for x, this is already linear. We use APE. We add positive 1 to both sides and we get 4 equals 5x. And then by using MPE, we divide both sides by 5 or multiply both sides by 1 fifth and we'll get 4 fifths equals x. And by reflexive property, since you read from left to right, we may rewrite this, that as x equals 4 fifths. So this exponent x, or the zero of the function, is 4 fifths. Example 2. Solve for the intercepts of f of x equals negative 3 times 4 to the x plus 48 if there is any. We have to consider two intercepts in this problem, the x-intercept and the y-intercept. As have been explained, the x-intercept is that x value of a point in the graph which touches the x-axis. So meaning, the y-coordinate in that point is 0. So it comes from the point x, 0. So just like what we did in example 1, we will substitute 0 to y to solve for its partner or corresponding x value. So let us do that. This is the given equation. Substitute 0 to y. And then... To solve for the value of x, which acts as an exponent, let us use APE. We may add negative 48 to both sides, or we may add positive 3 times 4 to the x to both sides. So in this solution, we did a second. We add positive 3 times 4 to the x to both sides, and this is what you will get. Next, we may use MPE by dividing both sides by 3 or multiplying both sides by one third to eliminate to eliminate this three, so you'll you'll get four to the x equals forty eight divided by three is sixteen. Next, since x 
which we are going to solve for, functions as an exponent, then we have to express 16 in terms of this base 4. And as we know, 16 is 4 squared. It may be expressed in terms of 4. So we may rewrite the equation as 4 to the x equals 4 squared. You may eliminate this parenthesis. Now, since both bases are 4, then the equation tells us, or we may equate also their exponents. So we have x equals 2. And that value of x is the x-intercept. Now, this time, we are going to solve for the other intercept, which is the y-intercept. So, the y-intercept comes from that point on the y-axis, the point which, uh, the intersection point between the graph and the y-axis. So, its name is 0y. That means to solve for the y value, we have to substitute 0 to x this time. So, this is the given equation. Let us substitute now 0 to x and solve for the corresponding y value, which is the y-intercept. So, f of x equals negative 3 times 4 to the 0 plus 48. Next, any number raised to, to 0 is equal to 1. So, we have f of x equals negative 3 times 1 plus 48. Next, negative 3 times 1, of course, is negative 3. And negative 3 plus 48 is 45. This is the value of y. y equals 45, which is the y-intercept. Example 3. Solve for the intercepts of f of x equals 3 to the x plus 2. We are going to solve for two intercepts, the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Let us solve first for the x-intercept. This is the given function. To solve for the x-intercept, we substitute 0 to y. So this becomes 0 equals 3 to the x plus 2. Since x or the variable functions as an exponent, then we have to express the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation as terms with same bases. How will we express 0 in terms of base 3? Is there any number which when you raise 3 to that number, the answer is 0? There is none. Therefore, there is no x-intercept. Or in visual representation in a graph, the graph does not cross the x-axis or does not touch it. This time, we are going to solve for the next intercept, the y-intercept. Since we are solving for the y-intercept, then instead of substituting 0 to y, we substitute 0 to x and solve for the corresponding y-value, which will be the y-intercept. So the equation will become f of x equals 3 raised to 0 plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. So that is f of x equals 3 squared. And f of x equals 3 squared is equal to 9. Therefore, the y-intercept is y equals 9. Example 4. What is the asymptote of each of the following? Before we show the given functions, let us first recall that an asymptote is a line which the graph gets closer and closer to but never intersect. Since the given functions here will be exponential functions and we know already how the graph looks like as well as the asymptote, so we are expecting here horizontal lines as asymptotes and a horizontal line has an equation which starts with y equals a number. Now, I'll show you a given one by one as well as their corresponding answers. Try to look for a pattern how, how an asymptote is derived from the given function itself. Let us start. First function f of x equals 5 to the x plus 1 power plus 2. Its asymptote is y equals 2. That means that the asymptote is a horizontal line which passes through the y-axis at 2. b. g of x equals negative 8 raised to 6x minus 5 power. Its asymptote is y equals 0. Last, h of x equals 1 third to the x minus 9. The asymptote of this function is located at y equals negative 9. 
Now, from the given itself, from the given function, how is the asymptote derived or known? Do you notice that the value of d tells you uh, the asymptote of the function? In letter A, the value of d is 2, positive 2. And then the asymptote is y equals 2. When the value of d is 0, we have your plus or minus 0, the asymptote is y equals 0. When the value of d is negative 9, just like in letter C, the asymptote is y equals negative 9. Therefore, in general, the asymptote is y equals d, whatever the value of d is. And this, this knowledge will help you in sketching the graph of an exponential function easier. You are now adept with finding the zero or x-intercept of an exponential function, as well as its y-intercept and the asymptote as well. Easy, right? You may verify them by sketching their graphs. Until next time!